Okay, so Bon ran back and so grabbed sad. that entry that we lost. And we also did a little bit of... Well, Bun did a little bit of flitting through the inventory. I'm organizing. You're organizing stuff. If, there'll probably be a bonfire right after, right? I'd assume so, or like at the very least a full heal, because it is a boss, right? I just want more space for items. This kicked my ass last time. Yeah, it did. So we're gonna beat that boss and go from there. I'm going to put a lot of tuna. Nom nom nom. You don't like tuna, we talked about this. No, but Seto does. Does he? I don't know, he might just be eating it because he has to. Food is food. I'm also gonna experiment just a little. With your weapons? Just to see if any work better. That's why I was debating about it, but I think I might take one out. What item were you using the first time? Do you remember? Um, Just the one that I have on me, which I think is just the, um, the pole. Okay. Well, in theory, something with a higher attack value would do really well. Because, like, damage output-wise, you were doing fairly good. I'm just worried this is another two-handed item. It might be. It specifically mentions, like, if only you had the upper body strength to do more damage with it, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll give it a go. You were only in the boss encounter for, what, like, five minutes in the <laughs> first place? I think so. So at the very least... Um, if right something here. if something is going catastrophically, you can just die on purpose. It's not like it takes too long. Okay. Let's go. Mole time. It's in here. Are we gendering the mole, or are they talking about something entirely different? I'm not sure. Are the moles robots? That'd be interesting. I don't think so, though. I don't think so either. It was moving a little bit too uh, fluidly. It was moving like a living creature, I'll say. I'm silly. I probably could have just checked immediately if the mallet was two-handed. That's fine. This place? You could have, but it's okay. Be careful. Just uh, don't charge up. Just see how much you can do We've with a raw strike. Shadowy ghost so far. Round two. Fight. She's like five. <laughs> I peace out too. <gasps> this track is still really, really good. I should look up what it's called. Oh my God. It'd be crazy if this soundtrack was on Spotify. Okay. Uh, pretty recently they added uh, mostly every single Silent Hill OST to Spotify, but for a while the Shattered Memories OST was the only thing. Which is crazy, because if, if you're not really a Silent Hill fan, uh, people aren't particularly fond of that game. It's not that bad. No, it's not, but um, to me, to me, I really like it, but a lot of people's problems with it stem from the fact that it's a, essentially I'm not gonna call it a remake, that's not accurate. It's more like a reimagining of the plot of Silent Hill 1. And a lot of people attest to the fact that it would have been better as its own thing. And I think originally it was supposed to be its own IP, and then they decided it would sell better. I'd say I believe what happened to Silent Hill 4, too. Oh, really? I don't remember what it was supposed to be, but aspects of that, I believe, when it was in development, were going to be its own thing. Uh, Silent Hill 4 is the room, right? Yeah. Which is why, like, it's kind of weird in that it has a disjointed plot that then is just kind of shoehorned into the... It's about the cult now. Although I do find it, like, impressive that they took one throw... like, not one, but a couple throwaway details from, like, Silent Hill 2 and made a... Oh my god, sorry, the camera turned me around. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It and swung twice. It made, like, its own thing. Ah! Ah! 
You're doing pretty good, babe. Don't say that. <laughs> okay. It is so hard to see. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Mm. That boss fight in the sewers in FF7R. That one you had a lot more space. Yeah, the space, but... Did that enemy, like, dangle from the ceiling or, like, crawl out of pipes and no. flood the room or something? Um, it jumped on the wall occasionally and it called in some water, but, like, that's it. Okay, then why the heck is it reminding me of it? I don't know, that's why I was... <laughs> is it just because I've been watching you play it again? Maybe, although I haven't I haven't redone that fight yet. No, but we did watch that speed run the other day. Oh, I thought it was far enough away. That's, uh, interesting. Mm. Um, its snout is spreading out, like, in the same way that flower petals might. Interesting. Okay. Oh, hey, you did it! Yay. Oh, I can't see any of that. But there it goes. Phew. I think we're okay now. Well, when did you become Mr. Tough Guy? I guess all that practice is paying off. Haven't we had Don't two conversations like this already? <laughs> Probably. It's been it's been a hot minute since. Now let's go find that girl. Well, I review the footage, so you do review the footage. Oh, it's just there. I can I walk around you? Just completely impeding your path. Okay. See the snout. Oh, there's that bonfire you wanted. Yay. And when I think about it... Maybe I'll sit down. I've been trying to think of why Shattered Memories specifically was on only, but... It has a... It has a good chunk of vocal tracks? Maybe that's why? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's a good soundtrack. I like it. Um, actually, no, my weapon's probably gonna break any minute. Akira Yamaoka did that too, right? I don't remember. I know that at some point... It, if it's a remat... I, I feel like they had a version of Hometown on that one. They usually have it if it involves Silent Hill 1 in any manner. But I don't remember, honestly. Is that a Silent Hill 1 theme? Hometown, yeah. It's the it's the very iconic one that everyone... The, the flamenco guitar. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm just not as familiar with Silent Hill 1 because it, it doesn't really get me in the way that the others do. Like, the most I appreciate Silent Hill 1, like, not to say it's bad, is through Silent Hill 3. Just because I really like the main protagonist of Silent Hill 3 and her story has roots in Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 1 is very much, for its time, it was... It was t it was scary in that regard, though there are bits in that game that are still very much, like, disturbing to- in a scary degree. Oh yeah. I liked it when I watched- uh, I forget who we watched play it, but I liked the Let's Play we watched. Just, uh, it's hard to compare to Silent Hill 2 and 3 in my mind. Silent Hill 1's soundtrack is also fun, because it's just- it's just grungy. Grungy, metallic-y. You get, you get traces of that in 3 and 2, but not nearly as much. Yeah, 2 is a lot more somber. It has uh, piano tracks, it has guitar tracks. Acoustic guitar specifically, I believe. Oh, pretty. I was wondering when we'd stumble upon some mountains. We are going to the mountains. Hell yeah. The sun. Whoa. Wow. What kind of place is this? Are you kidding me or what? You don't know? That thing's called a dam. A dam? It's so humongous. Oh, wow. Personal space, ma'am. It's one of the larger structures built by man. 
It harnesses the force of water to turn giant turbines, and that generates electricity. Turbines? Electricity? I don't really get it. Seto, would you like to hear about amazing. the energy crisis? Well, I guess so. What strikes me is that it's still operational. That's amazing. What? What are you gritting about? Nothing. I... I was just thinking how happy I am. To share the site with somebody. Before, I'd always been alone in my discoveries. <laughs> The lights turned on. Huh. That might mean there's somebody up ahead. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Although, in my opinion, I think we should go back where we came from. <laughs> Poor Seto doesn't know that motion activated lights are a thing. Or lights that trigger depending on the time of day. Seto doesn't know a lot of things. No, as illustrated in that cutscene we literally just watched. This game is pretty. It is very pretty. Exceed usually makes very pretty games. But that hair in front of his face is still driving me insane. Oh, I said Exceed. I. Maybe that is correct. No, I'm pretty sure this is an Exceed game. My brain is already forgetting Exceed. <laughs> Rune hmm? story? Rune. Not Rune story. Oh. Uh, like the fantasy RPG Harvest Moon? Yeah. I don't know if it's a Harvest Moon spin off specifically, but yeah, I believe XC does those too. Rune Factory. Rune Factory. Yeah, I, um, I played the very first Rune Factory once, which was probably a mistake because the dialogue was not translated very well and I couldn't understand anything that any of the characters were saying. Probably should have asked a friend and picked a newer one in the series. Yeah, it's always intrigued me because I've... We like Harvest Moon, but I never got around to trying any. Yeah, I think uh, pretty much the only difference between Rune Factory and Harvest Moon is um, the mines are hostile environments. Or at least that's how it was in the game that I played, so... Uh, kind of what Stardew does. Well, the thing is, is I believe there's that, and also they have more of a plot, usually. Like, cause you- Yeah, yeah, there were cutscenes that alluded to something like that. Like, they're much more RPG-based, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. I kind of like Harvest Moon for its lack of a plot, though, honestly. Oh yeah, they both scratch different- interests. I just- that's why I was saying I'd be curious to know. Yeah, yeah, it's a- it's a nice way to make it fresh or make it something different, I guess is the best way to put it. <laughs> it's you again! Please help me. What? <laughs> What's that? What are you saying? I can't hear you! It's like- it's like that one really popular animation that was on DeviantArt in circa 2008 <laughs> that I can't remember the name of. Draw with me. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> was it? I don't remember. It won't open. We- we have to climb Did down. Did you even try? <laughs> you can't be serious. Don't tell me you're thinking of taking the ladders down. But she's in trouble, and she's waiting for me down there. Quiet already. Who am I kidding? Once you've made up your mind about something, there's no swaying you. What? Swaying me? Uh, you don't have to know the lingo. In any case, the walkways might be really flimsy, so be extra careful, will you? Yeah. I will. He'll be the second death of me, I swear. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Draw With Me was fine, but uh, the artist is not a very good person. Uh, see, artist slash animator, and there's 
There's one part of it that I think is pretty nasty. I just don't even remember again. Mm. Circa 2008 is so... Yeah, a very long time yeah. ago. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go explore the dam. Huh? But Mom said we can't go out today. What? Why not? I don't know, but... Something about how now that we can understand each other, we uh, gotta be together as family. You idiot. There's a lot more on your mind that you're not saying. Wait, how come I even know what you're thinking? Cuz, it's like I said, this is something big. Well, I don't get it. Either way, I'm going. But, wait! Don't tell me you want to come with me. I do! I'll be honest with you, you're stupid and a bother. But today I can tell you're really serious. I am, and I will keep up. Okay. Would you two call your sibling a stu <laughs> stupid and a bother? As the youngest sibling. <laughs> <laughs> no, youngest not... sibling rights. I have been called stupid. Actually, should I say it? Which is funny, because you're like one of the most intelligent people I know. You keep saying things like this, and yet... You are! I do so many stupid things so often. So, it's not really a matter of whether you do stupid things or not. Because that doesn't really have anything to do with a lack of foresight, it just has to do with a lack of care. I don't know what to say about any of these things. I don't just worry. disagree with you. Okay. All you right. can, but you're wrong. I'm tired. My inventory I'm got tired. Hey, got full again, so. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait, what did that say? I'll look in a sec. Hold on. <laughs> the years have not been kind, so use with care. Yeah. I thought it was going to say, you could literally kill someone with this, so please be careful. Because uh, I think aside from the katana, that's one of the most lethal weapons we've gotten thus far. Anything's lethal if you put your mind to it. Oh yeah, but I said the most lethal. Alright, none of my inventory is... A bit better. Damn levy? Yeah, I've seen the word before. I don't know much about construction. I feel like it's a construction jargon. Probably. But I like knowing words. I do too. I'm just trying to think of what it was. Uh, le levy? An embankment built to prevent the overflow of a river. Okay, so, so it's just a dam dam. It's just a dam. Dam dam. Dam dam. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right. I mean, you have it open. You could have seen how it's pronounced. Uh, it was an E with a long line on top of it. Is that pronounced E or? I need things like pronunciation spelt out phonetically. I'm bad at phonetics. Well, English phonetics. Gotcha. And the head looks at the vowels and hears other things. Um... Oh boy, another path like this. I don't. You think there's gonna be more birds? I don't know if I'm supposed to go under there or down. Well, your goal is to get to the base, so I would assume that the correct way to go, uh, rather, the progress direction is downward. Other than more birds. Hey. I mean, these aren't as annoying. They could be the same, but there's less of them. Oh. Oh, still too early. I like that size, like, be careful and you're going these unnecessary routes. Sai, there might be items. Sai, there might be- watch out, you're backing up too much. I know. There might be collectibles! There might be flavor text! Sorry, is that just- <gasps> Does it vibrate when that happens? Um, it just shakes. Gotcha. I'm scared because the music hasn't stopped implying there's more birds, but I can't go faster. Mm, well, at the very least, they're not near you. Makes sense that it's super rusted, though. 
Yeah, water and metal don't mix. Ooh. Because of the distortion, these crows also sound like the ones from a uh, PlayStation 2 era game. Or a game meant to simulate the PlayStation 2 era. I mean, is, it, is it just the stock noises are the same? I wonder. It might be just the low quality of the Wiimote speaker, honestly. I'm sure the, like, raw sound files exist in the game's code, though. Oh yeah, I was just saying, like, the PS2 and the Wii were in the same era-ish. It'd be fascinating Kinda. to see if anyone ripped them. The yeah, until the PS2 anyway. Yeah. We've been, um, not super often lately, but we've been watching a horror game Let's Play where we, like, delve into a lot of these indie horror games. And their graphics very much resemble stuff from the early PlayStation era. And I think that's fascinating because, I mean, there's this, like, demand for games that borrow the aesthetic of, like, pixel art. Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, SNES and such, but I've never, like, seen a demand for that style. Well, like, I like how it's a mesh of, like, like, it's very clear they use almost real-looking, like, people's, people's references as base, but, like, it's a mesh of, like polygoning that? Yeah, very few polygons. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, it's like, it feels like the style is that they took a reference photo and then they made it into polygons, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's, um... Not sure what I would call that. A dismantling of realism. Is that photo realism is? I don't, no, photorealism is when you attempt to represent realism as best as possible. I am not an artist. People use that term, and I believe hyperrealism pretty interchangeably. So my concern is that this had a blocked off one over there, and that there might have been an item down there. Hmm. But I don't know if I'm willing to go back for it. I'd like to, though, is the problem. Because I know me. Well, you do you. Whatever seems best in the moment. It's really hard to tell where the progress area is in these games. Well, as I said, I think in this case it's clear-cut enough. It isn't. Yeah? There's this way down and then there was a way down back there. Ah. Okay. But, like, just demonstrated over there, like, the ladder was rotted away when I went back up briefly. So I'm wondering if I tried to go down back there, would, have, would I have encountered an item in a rotted down ladder? Because that looks like progress. Maybe. Mm. Oh, now I see. I thought you were headed back the way you came. I didn't realize you were heading down the ladder on the opposite side. I'll just go back real quick. Okay. There's probably going to be nothing. That's my luck, but... It'll probably be nothing, but it'll bother you if you don't find out. Again, that's how your head works sometimes. Again, I I wouldn't say I'm a completionist person, but the most interesting part that I like about this game is the little stories. So if I miss any of them, it's like... I mean, you're a completionist with games that you like. Games that you really thoroughly enjoy. You at least like to subject yourself to higher difficulties and exploring nooks and crannies. Oh yeah, I just I just have ADHD, so I've never actually completed anything. <laughs> I have aspirations one day of doing these things, but... Oh wait, what did I... Oopsies. Oopsie doopsie. I think once we're in a better environment, you'll be able to focus a little bit better. Maybe. Ham taro, ham ham heartbreak, no mercy run. What? No mercy run. I wasn't aware there was a morality meter in that game. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that version. I'll show you. 
Okay. Is it like a New Game Plus thing? Yeah. Okay. It's funny, you'd figure that the super rusted part would be where the water is spouting out, but it's not. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was waiting to see it one more time, because I was like, maybe I misremembered? Because I was very preoccupied with the birds you were fighting. Yeah, it looks like it's broken off, so there's probably not in there. Probably. Am I in inventory space anyway? Well, actually. There's a bonfire right up there, right? I think so. I'm also gonna just double check really quick how big the item that we're getting is because I might be able to just drink that energy drink because the crows hurt me a little. <sighs> big yawn. No, it wasn't that big. I can do bigger. Hello? The camera angle changed, so. Ah. <laughs> Abs. That looks like an enemy out of like. Man, I can't decide if it would be so, Undertale or off. There's nothing actually down here. We just came back for this. <laughs> I like it. I think that's the reward in and of itself. Sorry, this is the ideal form. I'm naming him Joseph. Okay. <laughs> 